In my Lou, people love a good challenge. And recently, about 50 local artists were put to the test, challenged with coming up with original works. But there was a catch. They had to create their masterpieces in miniature. It is not the biggest shop in the Shaw neighborhood. We don't have a lot of room. But a lack of room is not stopping her big idea. I want to get people excited about art. So she's going small. So we can cram a lot of art in. Think micro. Since I was limited on space, I limited the size of the art. Think the tiny art show. The applications just kept coming in and in and in. Local artists applying to take the challenge. It was an interesting challenge. Of producing minuscule works. The size of a business card, so three and a half by two inches. Each presenting a large variety of obstacles that had to be conquered. If you have a lot of big ideas, you're like, how do I fit that into this small uh, surface area? Difficult to work small with clay when you feel like you have like big man hands. Hands were put to creative use, coming up with pieces. 250 pieces of tiny art. A multitude of miniature masterpieces, ranging from pottery to portraits, scenes of St. Louis. Really runs the gamut of different mediums. Some inspire. I just knew that people would want a little tiny guardian angel. Some are actually functional. This light just goes on and off. There's a little click. The art is not life size, but it is full of the little things. I was floored at the detail. That bring their visions to life. When you um, work this size, every single um, detail matters. The final details, leaving even the artists themselves impressed. I am blown away by the talent. I can't believe what these artists captured in such a small, small space. Small spaces that speak volumes about the abilities and the imaginations in the St. Louis art community. I think St. Louis has a fantastic artist community. The Tiny Art Show opens to the public today. The artworks, by the way, are up for sale. If you want to know more about this, we'll include a link in the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com.